the 2022-2023 budget is worth 50 trillion shillings, with government going for a program-based approach. However, the opposition feels that this approach does not meet the popular needs and is instead going for a human rights approach to budgeting. It involves thinking about the impact of raising revenue, allocating resources, and the expenditure on the human rights. In fact, what we are going to posit at the end of the day will be a reflection of what we consider as the national demands of the moment. We have scanned the, the, the economy, we have scanned the entire country, we have a fair understanding of how the sectors are performing. The move towards human rights budgeting came about during a shadow cabinet meeting today. If you look at rights, if you think about Ugandans, if you think about what they're entitled to, if you think about what they have rights to, then you can allocate resources depending on that. It allows government to give services direct to human beings in you know, uh, addressing the human needs, the demands, as opposed to the program-based approach because it is basically looking at uh, solving the needs or demands of people that have already attained the middle income status. If it's education, is it just education for all or is it a quality education for people, individuals? What is the status of the person that is, that the status of this student that is acquiring the education? Is he hungry or not? Has she eaten or not? The opposition legislators cite the mismanagement of relief items for Karamoja as one of the issues that would have been avoided, as Jonathan Odu, the Shadow Minister for Defence and Veteran Affairs, explains. The budgetary decisions must benefit the most needy. Now the issue of Karamoja comes in, but not only Karamoja, the budget decision must benefit the most needy. Who are the most needy in this country? And those budget decisions, do they actually reflect the will of the government to support them? The current program of government is lacking in imagination and contemplation, and it is impulsive in nature. When you use what we have proposed today as the human rights-based approach, we would target the key areas that recruit our people into vulnerability and poverty. The alternative budget is expected to be read on 31st March 2023. Ali Mivale, NTV. An approach to 